Right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Well, good morning, and how do you do? Welcome to the Experience Bros Radio Show. We're here to remind you that small business is big business. Your business is our business. I'm feeling better. Wow, I guess so. Yeah. Got a little little giddy up today. You know why? Why? Do tell. Because I got my sea monkeys, and they're cleaning my feet. No, you did not. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we were in Cancun a couple of weeks ago, and uh, maybe you folks have seen these before, but there's the, the little, the little uh, fish that uh, sit in a tank, and a guy takes your pesos, and you put your feet in the, in the fish tank, and the fish, well, they, they, they eat off your feet. They eat off the dead skin yeah. cells off your feet. Yeah, this yeah. was a. So this morning I'm reading. Uh, we had Terry Fox from Artesian Spring Oriental Medicine in yesterday, and he posted a link this morning about some different um, things that you can do, just like little beauty tips. Right. And one of them was relaxing your feet at night in a warm bath. And I just, I kind of like went some places. I read that. And you know, the fish that eat Just feet. thinking about, you know, your feet being relaxing and little bubbles and massage. Little, little, and little sea monkeys. And it did remind me, in Cancun, there was a couple places we saw little, there are these little black, little sucker fish. Yeah. I don't know what they are. That's right. But you put your feet in and they all just swarm, like all at once, like instantly. Right. And start going. Yeah, they, they, they eat your feet. Does that just creep you out a little bit? Not as much as the electrolysis that happened once when I went to a, a chiropractor and I stuck my little feet in the thing and black sludge and... and, and <laughs> okay, me. so have you ever done one of those Whoa. little detoxes where you put your feet in, the water looks apparently very clean when you put yeah. it in. You sit there and you just sit and soak. Right. And whatever they right in put your own in, business. like, draws out... <gasps> Sludge out sludge. of the pores, out of your feet. So I, I don't think find, I buy it. I could I couldn't find the fish. Uh, those are apparently Mexican fish that I don't know how to find. Uh, I I couldn't. I don't want to go the black sludge electrolysis uh, doohickey that those uh, chiropractors have. So I ordered sea monkeys, and what I do just put sea my sea monkeys do. Oh, they 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 uh, they they do stuff on your feet, sure. just like the fish. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look, I, I sound great. I feel great. I, I'm yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do actually sound good. Did I am you, ready for. Have the you day. done the thing where you you slice an onion, and you take some onion and you put it in your sock, and you sleep with onion in your sock, and it's supposed to draw out the toxins out of your out of you if you've got a cold. <laughs> have you ever tried that? <laughs> no. Why are you laughing? <laughs> onions, are, supposedly, oh, supposedly, if you stick... Uh, supposedly. Uh, supposedly. Yeah, that's the way we get away with this news story. Uh, onions <laughs> in the house, you know, during cold and flu season, yeah. it grabs the toxins from the air and... Do you and, have garlic in your house right now? Um, do you, you have don't any actually, garlic at all? I actually don't think that I do no. at the moment. Beware of vampires. But it's, is that the same thing if you put I've some garlic, garlic cloves right. out and it sucks no up vampires. the toxins in the air? No, no toxins, just vampires. I have, um, so you've never done anything like homeopathic funny? Yeah. I do, do homeopathic stuff. I like mean, what? You know, the, uh, the, the vapor rub on the chest, that kind of thing. Okay, but have you ever done it on your feet? No. No. No, you walk on those. I know, vapor rub you on your chest. all the way. There's just something about... No, 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 I don't so want to talk soothing. about vapor rub on your chest. I, I just no, but no, like this is a men's therapy. No, no, no. no. So like when I would do that for my little kids. No, yeah, you see, know, for your just, little kids. It was just so sweet right. and tender, and it just reminds you of your like something sweet and tender, not I'm wherever not, you go. I'm not going anywhere. I'm trying to avoid going anywhere. All right. So I don't know if vapor rub really counts as you being like all homeopathic. That's pretty homeopathic. I don't think so. Hey, I got a question. How do you onion? No, rub the onion on your since chest. Since we're talking about but I'm not rubbing <laughs> onion on my chest. No, just you sleep with it in your socks. Well, that's why I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, let me ask you this. Um, how do you cook brown rice? Uh, I I have a rice cooker, and if those of you know, I own the uh, Raymer's Rice Cooker Chronicles on Facebook. You can find all kinds of great recipes. <laughs> Raymer's Rice Cooker Chronicles. That's correct. That's the name of the group. Look at that. I it know. Up. Every business that Eric has ever started, every title ever Eric has ever came up with is his name. What's the matter with that? I just, it's, it's my just name. very, very consistent. Mm -hmm. 
except for experienced pros because Angel said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, yes, taking your uh, name off of that." Yeah, it's a little too long. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but I'm gonna sell it someday. I make fantastic white rice. I make fantastic other kinds of dishes in this rice cooker. You know, if you listen to it, if you ever gone, check it out on Facebook, Ray, Raymer's Rice Cooker Chronicles. But brown rice has eluded me. It has eluded you. It I is your nemesis. This is supposed to make perfect rice. And, and it's not. I, I, I made rice uh, and, and chicken yesterday, seasoned it up, tasted amazing, and I'm crunching through kernels that are not done. You know, I've had a trouble with the rice, the brown rice. Some of it's mushy, and in the same pan, some of it's still crunchy. It What's does, the deal It's with like that? it doesn't cook evenly, the brown rice. Does brown ri is it possible to cook brown rice all the way through? In a, I do it on the stove. Just a regular way? Mm -hmm. Okay. How long does it take? Forever. Because mine was like an hour and a half. Oh, I don't, I don't know. It shouldn't take that long. I don't cook a lot of brown rice, so. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get healthy. You are? I am. What else are you doing? Uh, well, I told you. I well, you, you, were, you were sick. <clears throat> you weren't feeling good. Excuse me. And now he is uh, much better. I had a cold. Uh, the cold has has been a subject. I think because I think that would be really cool. Just, just order sea monkeys. However, the reviews on the foot spas not are so not much. good. No. Okay. All right. No, so they're all telling me I should just stick my feet in a in a bathtub dish pan of like a regular little bucket. Forget the dish pan or the bucket. You've got a bathtub. Just use the bathtub. Drop some Epsom salts. I know, but I was great. I was thinking I could do it, like while not in the bathroom, like in the family room or in the kitchen. I should just put it like while I'm cooking at the stove. Just stand there in a, in a bucket of hot water. You are, while I'm you are an electrical accident waiting to happen. <laughs> all right, I'm folks. soothing and relaxing all at the same time and cooking. Right. I, I can multitask. I can get it done. I'm relaxing here. If anybody can, you <laughs> certainly can. Folks, don't go anywhere. We've got a fantastic show. Uh, all two hours is going to be amazing, uh, which is not always the case, but today certainly is. So turn up the volume. And remember to do business with the people who do business with the pros. The experienced pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow running computer can stall your progress. When your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303 933 1113. The business professionals at Extreme Relationship Management know that networking is one of the best ways to create word of mouth marketing for your business. They also know that many of you feel like it's a complete waste of time. The difference is knowing how to network and what to do with all those business cards that you collect. Tune in every Thursday to learn about the ERM networking laws and be sure to sign up for the next ERM class. Extreme Relationship Management offers training and events to help you realize how rewarding networking can be. Train it the ERM way. Find them online at Extreme relationshipmanagement.com and call 855-I-LIKE-ERM to find out more about their next class. Edgetronics wants you to be happy with your business phone system. Get your phones to work for you, not against you. The friendly folks at Edgetronics can help you plan ahead to keep your business operating when there may be a phone system outage. They offer solutions with VOIP, non-VOIP, and hybrid telephone systems. Upgrade to the system with features that will meet your company's growing needs. Call today at 303 303- 766-1699. That's 303-766-1699. No business is too small or too large, and the customer service at Edgetronics will make you smile. Call now, 303-766-1699 or online at Edgetronics, that's with an X, dot com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier. Thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory, you can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. 
Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Finding care for an aging parent or loved one can be a simple and hassle-free process with Home Care Assistance Denver by your side. They are locally owned. That's your cough button. And you are a cougher. By caregivers that are custom matched based on client needs. They personalize every care plan to fit your loved one's very specific needs. Call them today to schedule your free in-home assessment. 720-443-3371. 720-443-3371. More information can be found at homecareassistancedenver.com. They love serving your loved ones. Call now. 720-443-3371. John Rush. This afternoon from 3 to 6 on KLZ 560. Please don't stop the music. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Please don't stop the music. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for taking time out of your business day to join us for ours. Boy, you want to talk about business? Talk about business in the music industry. You know, there's all kinds of different uh, streaming sources these days. And uh, new on the scene is that title uh, brought to you by a whole bunch of uh, other folks in the music industry. A little more expensive than most, but uh, we'll see how that rolls out. Our next guest, Greg Anton, is a drummer, composer, and the founding member of the band Zero. Now a notable writer. He's got a brand new book called Face the Music. Face the Music has actually inspired a brand new love song as well, based on, pulled right from the story, Face the Music, the new hit love song called Stephanie. Of course, you can get it on iTunes and the book, Face the Music, available on Amazon and wherever fabulous books are sold. Greg, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Hey, Greg, it's very nice to have you. A very fascinating conversation. You are uh, eyeballs up to uh to to the music industry and what is going on in the world of music it's changing even as we speak yes it is it is it's it's a crazy world out there uh artists are having more opportunity to get their stuff out there and more opportunity to not get paid (laughs) right Uh, yeah (laughs) <laughs> same same with advertising and marketing. Um, so, uh-huh. so Greg, you wrote, you know, we think about, you know, different things that will inspire, uh, you know, new songs and where you can have new songs. We also often think in movies. I, is this the first time that a, a new song has been inspired from a novel? I don't, I think there's been other uh, examples of it, but I'm not exactly sure. I, I wrote this song, it's called Face the Music. It's a rock and roll novel about a guitar player. Uh, he writes a song about his girlfriend, Stephanie, and the song gets stolen. He's a down-and-out street musician. He, he, his song gets stolen, um, and there's a legal battle, and I won't say more. Oh, okay. Um, well, you got to get a copy of the book, Face the Music. Where do, you, where do our listeners get a copy? You can check it out on my website, gregantonmusic.com. Or it's available at Amazon or Barnes and Noble, so you can get it at a bookstore. Uh, it's available everywhere, and I gave the book. I wrote the book, and I gave it to Robert Hunter, the lyricist for the Grateful Dead. You bet. Uh, and he liked the book, and I said, "How about a song?" And so he wrote a song, a beautiful love song called Stephanie. I put music to it, and recorded it with a couple of my friends, uh, Steve Kimock and Melvin Seals. And uh, the song is out there now. Also, it's on iTunes. So, so Greg, let me ask you this: because critical to the the nature of the book, the storyline of the book, is this legal battle uh, that that goes on. And this is what you fear, and and not just fear you you've seen is happening to musicians today. Am I correct? It is. What's it is. tell the, us the, a little the, bit about that? What's going on? The the book takes place in 1975 in San Francisco, and back then. It wasn't so difficult. It was more difficult to document what you had done. Everything is digitally documented now. Every time people are playing music, they're recording it with their phones or they're taking a picture of it or an audio uh, recording of it. Back then, there were cassettes floating around. And a big part of the proof of who owns what, that's what the, that's what the book is about. It's kind of a 
it's a page turner about trying to figure that out. You know, and I think that anybody who's ever, you know, been involved and in, around the music industry is probably nodding and going, yep, that's true, and yep, that's happening, or I've seen that, and I know who that has happened to. Uh, so now, I mean, are you switching from, are you going to add more novels? Is there, are there more novels in your future, Greg? I, there's a novel in my future this morning. Oh. <laughs> All right. I, I, uh, I, I'm writing a sequel, uh, and I've got about 100 pages written, uh, it just leaves off where Stephanie and the guitar player's name is Woody, uh, where they left off in the first book. Uh, and I'm very, really enjoying the writing process. Playing with a bunch of crazy musicians is bunches of fun. And it's also, uh, inversely, it's nice to sit by yourself yeah. and write. Yeah, it's, it's a different uh, different creative process, that's for sure. i, I got to ask you, Greg, um, you know, we, when you think of streaming music, and of course that has been the way that music has changed over the years. Uh, recently, of course, uh, you got your Spotify, you got your Pandora, you got your Google Play Music, your Amazon. What's that other one that's... Uh, uh, title. What, for or against title, Greg? I'm not um, really? familiar with the whole streaming thing, and uh, I've seen what's going on, and it's to me, it, it's just a manifestation of our our society's um, prioritizing art lo very low. Yeah, if that's that's not very well said, but um, it, it's tough to get by as an artist in our society, and we don't support it uh, very much. They do more in other countries, more in Europe and and other parts of the world, and. So it's really tough, and that's what this book is about, the struggling artist trying to make it. And as many artists do, he has trouble. This guy has trouble. He can play the guitar. He can play the guitar. He can write a song, and he has trouble talking to his girlfriend or talking to his landlord or getting by in our society. And to get rewarded for it is very difficult. All right. Well, so what are some of your favorite love songs, Greg, or what love songs inspired you to write Stephanie? Oh, boy. I love all the popular... Love songs. Yeah. Um, you You're know, just a I'm little a fan, romantic uh, at heart, aren't you? <laughs> I am. I am. I, uh, I, I like when I to put on something to listen to myself at home, I put on jazz. All right. um, but a lot of the pop loves, the new pop love songs, uh, my kids listen to them. I love them. Uh, I, I like all kinds of music. I don't care for the, the rap music and the hard, loud bass. That's all right. Um, we can music. still be friends. <laughs> Absolutely. Greg Anton uh, loved the book. Uh, and of course, you want to get a copy of the book, Face the Music, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever good books are sold, uh, and download a copy of Stephanie, the new love song by Greg Anton. And you're going to love this. I mean, it's just it's just truly amazing. Greg, anything else we need to tell our listeners? I just want to say enjoy the music. And if you've ever been to a, a rock and roll show, either been on the stage or been in the audience, you'll recognize a lot of stuff that goes on in this book can't wait to finish my friend thank you so very much for uh for being on the show with us today so, you know if it wasn't for people like you we'd be we'd be singing in the shower so thanks for thanks for getting it out there absolutely folks don't go anywhere we come back more positive business talk and i might sing in the shower on the experience pros radio show the Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right to learn more visit experiencepros.com you keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to Cheryl and Cheryl Answers dot com. LOB number one zero 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 two zero four three two. NMLS number two six 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 nine five. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at door.state.co.us. If you have a rental property and have been managing it all on your own, let Legacy Properties PM help you build your legacy. They handle everything from emergency calls 24 hours a day, market rent analysis, and fiscally responsible home improvement suggestions. They don't mark up contractor work and they provide quarterly interior for your property condition reports. Get your first month's management fee for free at legacyproperties-pm.com slash radio. That's legacyproperties-pm.com slash radio. You're going to love this service. For questions, call 720-989-1996. They'll help you sleep well and build your legacy. 
Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303 645 4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Nyland's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nyland's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nyland's, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. The top five search results get 75% of all the clicks. 75%. That means if you're on page two, you are missing out on tons of potential business. You, my friend, are in need of professional help. At SharpNet Solutions, it's not all about clicks. It's about making sales. They optimize the Experience Pro's Extreme Customer Service Directory, and they can optimize your business. Call them today, 303-900-4988, 303-900-4988, or find them online at sharpnetsolutions.com. Put their talents to work and see what they can do for you, 303-900-4988. Mention the Experience Pro's and get up to 50% off. Call today. Dana Lash, 8 p.m., week. Nights on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. Uh, you know, I'm going to share with you today. Um, Something that, that most people would probably keep uh, cards close to the vest and, and hold as a secret. Uh, I came across a website about a month and a half, two months ago, that I, I absolutely love. And I want to share it with you. It's it's a design website for designers who aren't. It's right? nice because I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of do-it-yourselfers. You know, they, they just try to, you know, we kind of hack our way through. Absolutely. Right? And... and uh, by the way, I'm not saying that you need to design uh, all things uh, yourself, not by any stretch of the imagination. But when you want to come up with a quick postcard or something like that, and you don't necessarily want to farm that out, uh, the website called canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, canva.com, has been a remarkable help to me, in large part because I, I see things in my head. I'm, I'm kind of a graphic oriented kind of a person, not just the male side of me, but the, 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 the way I visualize everything is, is photographic first, if you will. And, um, came across this, this site called Canva that allows me to make imagery in a number of different formats. For instance, they've got pre-designed templates for social media, or if you're working on a PowerPoint, you want to create a 14 or 17 by, uh, uh, what is it? 18, poster. Uh, how about your Facebook cover? Your Facebook cover has, comes in a certain dimension. Did you know that? Yes. Right? Yes. They created the dimension for you and including the little uh, head uh, profile cutout so that you know that you're not going to get that image cut off by the profile. Oh, so that, yeah, so that mm -hmm. the one piece is not, because I've seen uh, some different banners, uh, Facebook pages where the, like a very important part is now cut out by the 
little profile picture. Well, and, and one of the things that I love about Canva, again, and you can make uh, cards, wedding invitations, uh, infographics. You can design an infographic with a template already designed in. How many times have we said, man, I wish I could make an infographic? Well, there it is. And it's really, really easy. Or a blog graphic. Wow. Or uh, a you Kindle know, cover. I always see just even like little memes, little pictures with postcards, but but they're branded to the business name. Right. But they're their own quote. Um, yes. Uh, I see Faith Young does this a lot. Uh, Boulder headbands they do it and just making it look really fun and pretty but yet branded to you right um because everything else you know what do we all have what word publisher we have a picture we took some text over it like it's so archaic right and right. only the graphic designers had the right tools for all of that and in fact you know you know i've got um one of our, I've always been been talking about one of the days we're going to create a book and we're going to call it Isms and Osophies, right? Angelis, or, uh, Eric Isms and Angelosophies. Those, those mantras that we create uh, on a regular basis, doesn't matter what business you're in, you're in the relationship business, those kinds of things. How easy is it to create one of those little memes, one of those little deals? And the layouts are amazing. They've got all kinds of free ones. They've got all kinds of ones that you can pay a dollar for the image. And, and now it's licensed to you. A nice. dollar an image. Very nice. It's really cool. Can, what is it? Canva.com. Right. And again, I go back to uh, one of the things that I love about this. And I, I encourage you to, to check it out. Uh, this if, is the nice thing about the internet these days, right? You know, I think anything that you want, there's a tool out there. There's Somebody's already created it. We were talking this morning about the early days when we wanted to take uh, credit cards and having a shopping cart on our website, right? Merchant services. Right. And how easy it is now with, you know, all these e-commerce and shopping carts and to just add it to your website. You want to have a, 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 a store, an online store with inventory and pictures. Like the templates and everything has already been created for right. you. It used to be you had to know all this code, you know, in order to create these websites. And there's yeah. so much now out there. Um, Daryl Stern with Stern DMB is always the one introducing us to brand new things all right. the time. He, Because, you know, this is his world that he plays in. You bet. And so anything that you want, you think, okay, well, how much time and how do I make that? And I've got to create it from scratch. You almost don't have to create anything from scratch anymore. Indeed. In, indeed. That, that's exactly it. Uh, and then I want to also mention at canva.com, you ever want to learn some of the inside secrets of design? You know, make, make sure that you know that you've got the grid of, uh, of thirds on, uh, going on in your, in your work and whatnot. If you don't know what that is, check out the design school. It's all free. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You're going to the design school. I am, you know, and, and again, I reemphasize, if I'm really looking for the cutting edge, professional edge uh, for something that I'm working on, if it's going to be a piece of collateral that I'm going to put out to hundreds of thousands of people, uh, by all means, I go with the pros. And, and you should consider that as well. But if you've just got something you want to create a, a one-off or, or add an image to your, your website, uh, you could probably benefit from this. And if you think even that's a little too intimidating, by all means, check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Find what, uh, what, what's available. We've got a designer in there. Uh, you're going you're gonna to love the work that they'll do for you. But canva.com. Has been. It is just for some of those little, like you said, those little one-offs. I just want a little meme, a little postcard, a little I something a, that I'm a, posting. I spot an image for one of my yeah. blogs. Yeah. Right? There you go. Instead of stealing, yes, instead of stealing from uh, anybody else who's got Just that going out Google, on, the, on the web, right. clicking on images and stealing images. You can make your own, and it's free, and you can learn how to make them uh, quality, and you can use the, the uh, templates that are amazing. I just wanted to share that with you because I have found great benefit in this. It's a simple Facebook post that is pre-designed to be optimized for the Facebook feed. How important could that be? You know, you, you put out your image and all of a sudden you realize, oh, yeah, they can't see the tagline because oh, it's bad. too big. Okay. Right? No, that would be bad. Yeah. Canva.com. Right. There you go. Uh, How, how'd you find it? Just doing a little Google search? Uh, I was actually doing a YouTube search, and uh, I wanted to make an infographic. That, that was the thing that got me started. I wanted to make an infographic, and infographics are not as easy as one would think. You know, they look simple because they use stick figures and, uh, and, and whatnot. But infographics start with the information first, and that's where I struggle is bringing all the information into a place that I want to lay it out. 
You just want the pictures. I just want the pictures. It just wants the pictures. Yeah. Uh, who cares what they say? I read that magazine for the picture. I mean, the articles. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Move on. We'll be back after these messages. You've got a fantastic guest coming up next. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. Seven two zero two three three seven three zero two, or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera finance.com we'd love it if you liked us no we know that you like us here on the radio but we'd love it if you liked us on facebook keep your fingers on the pulse of all the networking events trainings fun activities and business opportunities and oh the pictures oh the pictures all of which can be found right there on our facebook page just go to facebook.com forward slash experience pros and click like yep it's just that simple Get plugged into the most positive business talk show in America and become a business revolutionary. We'd love it if you liked us on facebook.com forward slash experience pros. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-669-9701. And tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place for finding the companies who have the best customer testimonials. Plus, to make it even easier, we narrow down the field to only three companies in your area. If you need a printer in the metro area, we have it. If you need ink and toner, we have it. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is one of the most visited directories in the state, and it's all yours to view for free at experiencepros.com. Experiencepros.com for the best in customer service. When you're looking for the best, think Experience Pros. You can feel good about doing business with the pros. I'm John Walsh. I'm Ed Smart. When a child is abducted, time is critical. That's why Amber Alert is so important. The public is notified when a child is abducted. It's a partnership between broadcasters, law enforcement, transportation, and you. Thanks for making Amber Alert happen. Chris Cook, tonight at 6 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. Well, man, this show just keeps getting better. Now we're going to talk about wine. We are going to talk about wine. And uh, according to our next guest, winemaking is as old as civilization itself. The brand new book in the history of wine. It's called The History of Wine in 100 Bottles, written by Oz Clark. It takes a unique approach to that history, exploring 100 bottles that have had the biggest impact on the evolution of wine. And Oz Clark, known for his phenomenal palate, irreverent style, accurate predictions, and enthusiasm for life in general. Clark is Britain's most popular wine writer. Oh. We have him here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Oz, welcome to the show. 
Hi, Angel. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. I hear you have a fabulous accent, and so it doesn't matter anything you say, I'm going to love it. <laughs> okay. Well, I should, have you got a phone directory? I'll start reading the phone directory. <laughs> that will do. That will do. Ac Acme Repairs. <laughs> <laughs> I think your accent's pretty nice as well. Oh, okay. You two break it up. This is Eric Oz. Nice to talk with you. Hey, Eric. We've only just started. Uh, that's the truth. And let me tell you something. If we're talking about accents and wine, I got to tell you, I love the new book. It it is uh, it's huge and it is amazing. It's gorgeous. It is truly gorgeous. What what made you decide to chronicle the history of wine? Oh, I think it just was. I've been you know learning things about wine and forgetting most of them the next morning. To be quite <laughs> frank, um, for a long time. And I thought I think I just wanted to tell a hundred stories. Actually, I wanted to tell two hundred stories, but my editor said over her dead body. So I thought, well, I like my editor. Let's keep her alive and just do a hundred. Folks, the book, I mean, yeah, the, the book is four inches. I mean, yeah, the book is four inches thick, folks. Uh, so, so <laughs> it's a good thing you stopped. Now we've got a sequel coming up. <laughs> Well, um, I, if she's got away, there will be. But of course, if I've got my way, I'm heading straight for the beach. But um, I don't know. She seems to have a, a way of just, gra as I run for the door in my bathers, she manages to scratch me back with some kind of claw job. So I never get to the beach. But I dream about it endlessly. Um, and I sit at my desk, and a poor, miserable, lonely soul, writing about the world that others inhabit and I don't. Struggling, struggling Oz, <laughs> I might add. <laughs> to sip on the wine and describe it as you go. Uh, it doesn't suck to be you. Uh, all right. So, so what did you learn in the cre in the research uh, in this book that surprised you? Well, loads of stuff. Because I, as I said, I wanted to tell stories. I like telling stories. And, and, and uh, my mum, who's a good Irish girl, always said, you know, ne never let the facts get in the way of a good story. I said, Mother, I won't. I won't. I promise I won't. Um, because because most wine books are so dull. I don't know whether you ever ever get past about page 25. And, and you know, endless wine tasting notes on wines you haven't tasted. Marks out of 100. You think, who is this person? Why am I? Why am I? This is a supposed to be fun. I'm supposed to have a glass of wine and gazing at my friends and my girlfriend and saying, God, she's nice and they're great and we're having fun. What is it all about wine that they, they take all the joy out of it? So I was just trying to put the joy back into it by telling stories and putting lots of facts in as well. I mean, one of the facts I loved was that uh, prohibition in the States, um, the, when prohibition ended, there was 50% more wine being made in the States than when prohibition <laughs> began. Right, right. <laughs> There was, there was, there were, everyone, I mean, prohibition was just, I mean, obviously it was a complete flop because basically everybody, there was, there was a wonderful line in the, um, the Volstead Act, which brought prohibition. It banned the manufacture, sale, or transportation of intoxicating liquors. Yet, in the typical way of, of lawyers, it didn't actually say what intoxicating was. Right. So everybody was saying, "Oh, I'm not intoxicated. This is just a couple of glasses of wine." It's I'm medicinal. Fine. And a family was allowed to to crush. If you, you and your family could crush two hundred gallons of grape juice a year for your family. 200 gallons is, that's some decent days drinking five or six times a week. And, and, and you say, oh my God, but what if it started a terrible, terrible thing? Well, they, it's only, they used to sell these great big blocks of grape juice and they used to attach yeast tablets to them and they put a big notice on it saying, whatever else you do, do not add this yeast tablet to the grape juice because it'll start fermenting. And that would be illegal. <laughs> my God, so it would. Oh my gosh! You know, we, we Americans created the, uh, the the phrase "where there is a will, there is a wine." Uh, I mean, a way, yeah. and, and so uh, clearly that makes a lot of sense. Audience live there, uh, right? So it's it's uh, it's, 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 uh, that's. Uh, that was prohibition. That was one of them. Learning about the Romans and the Greeks and thinking, oh, is this going to be boring? Well, you think actually, yeah, it could be boring as hell if you wanted it to be. But if you if you sort of look around the edges of just not just saying, oh God, so that's a glass of wine in some bloke's hand in Pompeii or whatever. Um, but you know, what did they actually drink? Was it really the nectar of the gods? Well, I think that we would have 
found it completely disgusting. The chief reason is, you know, the Romans, wine in those days, it would turn to vinegar in hours if you weren't careful. They didn't know anything about trying to keep wine fresh. Nearly all wine was sour, filthy muck. Um, one of the ways that they tried to, ch- to hide all this was they, they added all, they, they added powdered marble, they added potter's earth, they added honey, they added herbs, they added mustard, they added, I don't know, dead mice, <laughs> birds, foxes, anything, anything to, to, and they actually diluted the wine eventually, 50-50 or, or 25-75 sometimes, with seawater. It was oh. that bad. And then, of course, it was still going, turning to, obviously, salty vinegar. And they used to use pine resin. Now, they piled pine resin into their wine to stop it becoming even more disgusting than it was. And I think they, we, you and I might think, hey, that's a pretty disgusting idea, pine resin in my wine. Well, not if you've got a, 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 a brew, a toxic brew of sort of dead mouse and mustard and vinegar and uh, yeah. seawater. That's the least of all evils. in the seawater. I think it was before main drainage, so God knows what was floating in the seawater. Um, all that stuff, shove in the pine resin. Just just keep putting the pine resin in. And all of those kind of things. So you read all this stuff, especially 19th century sort of uh, English and French writers going on and on about, oh, Homer must have had a wonderful time, and oh, Pliny must have had a lovely drinking life. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, <laughs> you, you and me, we're so much luckier than they were. You know, Gallo's hearty burgundy is 10 times as good as anything that the, the emperor of Rome was drinking. Actually, Gallo's Hardy Burgundy. That's another of the book uh, of the chapters in the book because I just I cho- I tried to choose the stories I think are important. And people said, you, "What do you mean you're writing a chapter on Gallo's Hardy Burgundy? That's not important." I think it's fantastically important. The first time that really cheap wine was really good ever in the whole history of the world was Gallo's Hardy Burgundy. And I remember when I was a student in Madison, Wisconsin. God, I, I was in a student dorm with a, uh, some fairly lively lasses and yeah, let's say it was, it was not as clear as I was used to in England um, and the wine came round and I poured out this jug of wine and it was Gallo's Hardy Burgundy and I just thought I had never had such a nice glass of cheap red wine it's student red wine in, in England student red wine is the most unutterable filth you know we could get it down because a student can get anything down I turn up in Madison Wisconsin and this lovely juicy f- sort of ripe flavoured stuff I thought this right. is the most important moment of my life well that night it was anyway yeah. I thought and you were so talking about thought, the girl you know, uh, <laughs> so, so you you do remember the girl, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely and juicy. Uh, Oz, can I, I ask you a question? When you go out to dinner with your friends, how long does it take you to order a, a bottle of wine? <laughs> oh, hours. <laughs> I, I mean, hours. Because I point is, I go, I, I don't don't give me the wine. Just do get someone else to do. It. I hate it when someone says, oh, "You know that wine. Why don't you take the wine? It's nothing else. God, do I have to?" Because uh, I normally think, hey, the house the house bed looks all right. Let's have that. And there's a thing. Oh well, I was rather than hoping to spend a bit more. And I thought, hey, you want to spend a bit more? You choose the wine. Uh, all right, all right. Oz, yeah. I got to I got to tell you, we we got about sixty seconds left here, uh, but you have kept us in stitches, and so I am going to formally in, in invite you back onto the show, and I'm going to have share connect with you and get you to be a regular on this this program because man, that was hysterical. I got one question for you. Well, Summer is coming. Yeah. Uh, it's barbecue season here in the U.S. Uh, what What are some of your favorite food and wine pairings? Um, Grand Valley and West Elks, he says knowingly, <gasps> because those are two of Colorado's AVAs. Uh, right up six, 7,000 feet up, and you're getting fantastic Riesling and Gewürz Traminer Whites from up there. So, you know, you guys have got to support. You've got 100 more. You've got over 100 wineries in Colorado now. Yes. I know, I know, um, and it you, keeps you growing. You have to support them. Uh, do you come here? I'm do you come to Colorado? It, it, over the year, you drink every single one. <laughs> yeah. I, let's start with start with Canyon Wind. What do I want? To, I want to barbecue out a tailgate with you guys, and I have some Canyon Wind Cabernet Sauvignon. Don't tease me now. Back. Don't tease me. Uh, do, do you come to Colorado? 
I don't normally ever since John Elway um, sort of uh, <laughs> showed me how to play football. I haven't dared come. Anyway, it's a mile high. I mean, I wouldn't have the breath. <laughs> Uh, folks, the book is called The History of Wine in 100 Bottles. The author, Oz Clark. Now you've heard him. Now you know why he is Britain's most popular wine writer our, and our most favorite radio interview. Our texts are lighting up with people saying, oh, my gosh, what a voice. you got to get this guy back. Uh, Oz, uh, thank you for 10 minutes of truly the most entertaining radio we have done in a very long time. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, Angel. Thank you, Oz. I think I am going to be Mrs. The future Mrs. Oz Clark right, right. here. All right, uh, <laughs> you stand in line, girl, right behind me. All right, folks, uh, we will be back. Get your copy of the History of Wine. You're going to love this, and uh, we'll post a link to uh, where you can go and find that book on our Facebook page. Uh, if Oz is still listening, I hope that he uh, connects with us on Facebook and on Twitter as well. All right, folks, uh, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk coming up next on this the most fun business talk show in America. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. You've got a great business, lots of customers, and a catchy tagline. Things are going great, right? Has it ever occurred to you that if you are doing so well in your business, someone else might be trying to copy or steal your concept and make it their own? It happens every day. But don't let it happen to you. You need attorney Steve Replin on your side. Much more than just a lawyer, Steve is a business consultant who knows how to protect what's yours while helping you grow it to success. Call Steve today and CYA. That's cover your assets. 303-322-79. 919-303-322-7919. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier. Thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory, you can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying great things about them, they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Uh, computers, we can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in, all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at binkleyit.com. Let's face it, you're stuck. Sure, your business is stable, but you've been floundering it even for too long. It's time to call Stephanie Scheller. Stephanie is a systems, business, and marketing coach who's helped over 300 companies improve their results by setting up systems and holding them accountable to trackable growth. Sometimes all you need is a fresh perspective and a little bit of accountability to break through to the next level of your success story. Call Stephanie today, 210-426-6956, and just talk to her, 210-426-6956. She can help. It's your business. Call today. Did you get some great customer service today? Did someone make you feel a little happier for doing business with them? Give them a fan brag. This is Eric, and you can call into Fan Bragging Friday and share your story with me and Angel on the air, or you can write a fan brag at experiencepros.com. Once you start looking for great customer service, you'll find it's in more places than you thought. Share your great finds with us by calling 855-FANBRAG during our Friday show. Kindness is so simple, and we want to hear from you. As a business owner, you know what it's like to wear a bunch of hats, and we know it too, which is why our very best advice to you is to outsource your accounting to By the Numbers Bookkeeping and Accounting. Philip Aronoff is well known to listeners and members of the Experience Pros Network. He was voted the best bookkeeper in the state of Colorado during the Fan Bragon Contest, and he can absolutely help you build your business while making sure your accounting is all taken care of. Call Philip today and take that bookkeeping hat off for good. 720-837-0860. That's 720-837-0860. Chris Cook, tonight at 6 on KLZ 560.
The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. That's what we want to do. We want to celebrate another day of living with you, our most important guest thanks for tuning into the show today uh it's graduation season it is graduation Mm -hmm. season do you have anybody graduating in your world i do uh my good friend gabriella grieve is graduating high school here not possible i know right not possible my niece is graduating high school as well there you go and you know i remember when they were this high right and Mm. uh and now they are out of high school and moving on to the next chapter in their adult lives uh you got to go get some gifts, right? Well, what kind of gifts do you give for the graduate in your life, whether it's high school or college graduate or whatnot? Uh, Besides money. Well, what about a, I like cash? What about a book? Oh, yeah, but what what kind of book? Well, like, I, what are they going to read? I, yeah, what are they into? I came up with a list of books that would be good advice, different perspective, and or a new challenge uh, that might be very intriguing to your new graduate. Okay, all right, right, bring it on. How about The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren? You know, self-help books often uh, suggest you try to discover the meaning and purpose of your life within yourself, but Rick Warren says it's the wrong place to start. In fact, the first sentence in his book is... It's not about you. Right? Hmm. What a great perspective. That's Mm -hmm. that's a fantastic thing. Um, uh, Sims Wyeth writes a book called The Essentials of Persuasive Public Speaking. You know that public speaking is like right up there next to death as far as one of the greatest fears. You know, but it's essential. You know, it's a piece that, you know, whether they're presenting in a, in a group interview style, presenting to a, a board of directors, like anything. Um, public speaking is a necessary part of all of our world. So if we can kind of combat that fear early on um, with a good book, good information. Absolutely. That, might, that will really help them um, in the future. You bet. Um how many of you like to eat? Well, you, this is where you say I do. Yeah, it's a necessary yeah, thing. Yeah, right. We must eat. Right. Bread, break bread every day. But wouldn't you like to know where to eat? Wouldn't you like to know where chefs eat? That's the name of a book called Joe, by uh, Joe Warwick. And from bargain noodle joints to high end restaurants, late night haunts to all day breakfast, neighborhood eateries to destination restaurants, where chefs eat reveals over 2,000 personal recommendations by the chefs. And you know, there's an old rule in in, uh, in in the kitchen that says, if the chef's not eating, neither should you. Mm. If the chef is eating, listen up. Oh, but knowing where the chefs eat, Oz Clark, you know, it's like when I go out, I usually just order the house the house wine. It right. seems nice enough for me. Like well, I love that. Absolutely, and then it cuts straight to the chase because uh, he, he could go on for for hours, I'm sure. Uh, how about this? There's a book called Moving Mountains by Henry Boninger. Uh, Moving Mountains is a classic text on how to organize your thoughts into a logical and enjoyable presentation, changing the way you think. Nice. Right? Okay. All these would make great graduation these, gifts. They are. You know, and, and, you know, I think that starting their library, um, because at this point, especially if they – you know, they've had only textbooks right. and, you know, you think you're going to go back and review those textbooks if you do hold on to them. And it just actually isn't true. Um, you know, you never look at them again, if, if anything. And so um, having good books, starting their book library, putting that, you know, we're talking about habits of success and creating those behaviors right. of success and leaders are readers and readers are leaders. And, and so, you know, going to, you know, finding a good, a good book list. You don't have to buy them every one of them. You can even, if you if you're a little closer to them, even getting them the Kindle version and the electronic version. Absolutely. Um, and let them and just stock them up and give them some good stuff to read over the summer. They probably won't read it all at once, but as they develop those behaviors, those adult patterns, um, they'll never forget that. And then I always like if you're going to give somebody a book, you know, write something. You know, it's almost like a, a gift, like a card. What you would write. That's right. You don't just have to say, you know, to Susie, congratulations on your graduation. But, you know, something very personal. I've watched Mm -hmm. you grow up. I've watched you develop. I see the skills and the talents. And, you know, I just know that there's success in your future. But, you know, give them something, something to hold on to. I'm going to take a little liberty here and uh, I'm going to add it to the list. I think that we should, uh, you you should consider for your graduate um, 
Lists That Saved My Life. That was the very first book that you ever writ, wrote, Angel. And uh, it is a book that truly changed the way that I look at life. Uh, I, I was fortunate and blessed to to be able to edit this book. But the way that you, you talk about all kinds of uh, hacks, if you will, life hacks for living uh, and, and doing it so in a way that makes a lot of sense at home. Well, you know, I, I think that... Uh, I think that's a great one to probably give like to new moms and stuff because I think there's a lot of your balancing your family. It's a little early to start thinking about balancing your family. I'll tell you what, it may be uh, it may be a little too early to, to put uh, family into the equation, but when you get out of college and you're moving into your next phase and you've got an apartment and you want to know why you should do the dishes every day. Every day. Oh, that's a good point. I'm telling okay. you. It, okay. I am a single man who doesn't have a family surrounded, and I got so much out of that book that I'm going to put it on the recommended list. Well, thank you for that. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. See, you opened up my horizon, you know, just how I think about, you know, I get so tunnel vision. This is only for, you know, moms. Right. But no, actually, and we did. I got some uh, fabulous reviews from from people who didn't have young kids at home. Um, but again, it's just balancing out and having little life hacks, little skills, little behaviors. Again, those behaviors of success. We can all get into those habits that take us away from success. They creep in, little lazy things like, you know, snoozing the alarm clock and you yeah. know showing up late at places and having an oh shoot pad oh that's a good idea right you know all of those things are in list to save my life yeah all right all <laughs> so right, there you stuff. have it um here's another one that uh, i thought was kind of cool an apple a day by caroline taggart if you've not read this book it's a phenomenal book it's a it, it's daily proverbs right uh of surprising origins why some are valid why some are not valid gives you the derivation and the meanings behind them but it also talks about their relevance to today's society nice mm -hmm. all right an apple a day let's an see. apple a day by caroline taggart uh let's see thinking fast and slow Daniel Kahneman, uh, it engages the reader in a lively conversation about how you think and uh, whether or not you can trust your intuitions, how you can tap into the benefits of slower thinking. Slow thinking. Right? Interesting. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. You know what? Because I think sometimes we just, we're so rapid and so quick paced and we, we say things without thinking it through. You know, we do things, we make decisions. I mean, we're just, we're not even thinking. We're just doing, we're just going through the motions and commenting and calling that authentic. And I think that sometimes something comes out of my mouth and I think I have, I don't even know why I would have said that. Why? I, I don't really think that way. I don't think I think that way. I don't really feel that way. Do you ever say something like that and think, I don't, I don't feel that way. I don't know why I said Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And then I have to go into this whole analysis of where was that in my, you know, in my brain and in my psyche because apparently it was in there somewhere. But <laughs> anyway, that's my my baggage. <laughs> All right. And finally, uh, the, the last one that I want to bring to you on the list of great books for your graduate, whether high school or college, uh, is a book by the Bureau Chiefs. That's the name of the, uh, the, the author, the Bureau Chiefs. And the book is called Write More Good. What? Write More Good, an absolutely phony guide by the Bureau Chiefs. Part dictionary, part journalism textbook, part grammar, and writing manual. Write More Good is a comprehensive, quote, air quote, guide to today's media. And it's, uh, you, know, you know, it's just a fun book. How that, funny. Yeah. We should write more good. We should We write should talk more, more good. good. We I think so. should do more good. Indeed. Say more good. And one of those Be is correct. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Right, more good. There's your list. If you want to know where you can get a copy of Lists That Saved My Life, uh, just check out Amazon and plug in the name Angel Tussie, A-N-G-E-L-T-U-C-C-Y. You'll find uh, all seven of the books available that uh, Angel has penned. And, you know, you could not do anything wrong by picking up a copy of all of them. There you go. Fabulous, fabulous, great, great guests today. She did a fabulous job uh, organizing our guests, and it's only going to get better. Yeah, we're, we're just getting started in the next hour. We've got uh, Chris Kaiser of C-Square Computer Consulting. We've got some great guests coming up uh, as well. Our friend uh, Jack Loudon from uh, Riviera Finance is going to join us. Cheryl Braunschweiger's got some good stuff about where you can uh, take all those uh, uh, electronics you want to recycle and paper shredding. It just got better, huh. right? All right, so we do have to take a uh, top-of-the-hour station break and tune you into the news and all of those good things. You know what I like to say at this point in the show, uh, turn up the volume, 
Remember to do business with the people who sponsor the show by advertising on the show. Uh, do business with the people who do business with the pros. It keeps us in business. And if you'd like to do business with the pros, how about giving us a call at 720-344-2446. Back after this. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tutsi and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Dana Lash, 8 p.m. weeknights on KLZ 560. KLZ is seeking an outgoing salesperson to join our team. We are a very unique station searching for a very unique individual. The ideal candidate will be expected to exceed challenging sales goals by cold calling, networking, participating in community outreach, attending station events, building a referral database, and prospecting daily. They also be required to retain and build long-term client relationships. The account executive we hire for our team must not only be ready to carry the torch of integrity and standards by following our proven strategies, but be eager to succeed and have the energy and optimism to grow businesses each and every day. This is one fun, exciting, and rewarding job for the right person. Send your resume and cover letter to my attention, station manager, Don Crawford Jr. at the number 4, Crawford at gmail.com. KLZ Radio is an equal opportunity employer. KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver. Listen live at klz560radio.com. KLZ 560. This is the Blaze Radio News. I'm Chris Barnes. The whatever is comparable uh, as we know it, uh, often referred to as a black box, that has been recovered. Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter saying the NTSB is now analyzing the black box from the deadly Amtrak train derailment in that city last night. At least six people killed, at least 200 injured, when the New York-bound train, which originated in Washington, jumps the tracks at about 9.30 p.m. The train's conductor, alive though injured, Nutter says he's given a statement to Philadelphia police. President Obama expressing shock and sadness over the deadly crash. The White House issuing a statement that says President Obama offers thoughts and prayers for victims and their families. He also praises first responders for working tirelessly and professionally to save lives. The Republican chairman of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, who represents Pennsylvania, saying it's too early to tell what caused the deadly derailment in Philadelphia. We certainly don't know why. Uh, I've heard some politicians already come out and uh, say if we would have spent more money, maybe that's the case. But it's something I think we really need to take a serious look at that and, first of all, figure out what happened up there. Representative Bill Schuster speaking at a previously scheduled hearing to consider spending bills on federal funding for railroads and other transportation. President Obama calling this a very challenging time in the Middle East. Meeting with Saudi leaders at the White House today, the president says he wants to build on a ceasefire between government forces and rebels in Yemen. He called Saudi Arabia a critical ally in the fight against ISIS. The White House meeting coming a day before Obama hosts a summit on Persian Gulf security at Camp David which the Saudi king and some other heads of Gulf Council states are skipping in what many say is a snub of Obama. A retail sales report from the Commerce Department showing no significant increase or decrease for April. Wall Street currently up, but just a little bit. This is news on the Blaze Radio Network. Truth lives here. The Blaze Radio News on KLZ 560 Denver. Dana Lash after Grassroots Radio Colorado on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. Coming up in the show, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Chris Kaiser is is with us from C Square Computer Consulting, and as excited as I am to talk to him 
I was reminded by a news story that Marcy Kaiser, his wife, actually holds a historical record of our business cards as experience pros has evolved. It's a little embarrassing. It's a lot embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing when I right. see some of the first business cards. You remember your first business card and how proud you were? Like, look, it's got my oh, name on yeah. it. And especially for us, you know, here it's got our business name on it. We didn't even have our own logo. Oh. We used uh, stock you know, yeah. templates or something from Vistaprint for, for that first business card. And I remember seeing somebody else's business name, you know, same looks business exactly card. the same like, except different pictures. That used to be our business card. Right, right. Um, yeah, so but there are people that do. It's like a it's like a it's history. It's like collecting stamps. Well, it might be worth something uh later because in the news mm -hmm. yesterday somebody paid get this ten thousand five hundred dollars for three count them three business cards three business cards three business cards in uh in san rafael california three of steve jobs i was just i was just gonna say now whose business cards yeah. would you want to have in your collection if it's you were collecting guy. business cards yeah you would have a Steve. Steve Jobs. So it was uh, when he was the president of Next. Right. Also when he was with Apple yes. and with Pixar. With that Pixar, right? would be a collection to have. Well, who would pay $10,500 for three pieces of paper? Well, the, uh, the, the answer is Tim Knowles. Do you know who he is? He's the guy that founded uh, branded, Stacks.co, branded contact sharing. He has an app that shares your contact information that you can get from a business card. Oh, so he's like the big business card guy. He's brilliant. Oh, and now he owns the three Steve Jobs business cards. A collector's oh, piece. How fun is that? All right, well, we'll have to see how long Marcy, what are some of the oldest cards that Marcy has, or maybe uh, she can a, auction them off someday. She has an Eric Raymer's Illustrated Illusions card. I know. I just, you know, and like for us, I just kind of want to look at that and go, could you throw that away? Please. Um, she also has one of the original business card holders. We had one of the first right. promotional items we ever bought was a business card holder. I had seen a fabulous business card holder. Yeah. And I wanted to duplicate that. Just ordered it, right? And so we tried to order it. And we what, could do that. And what came, and it, we ended up doing this rush order because we wanted it for an event. Yeah. And, and I didn't have time to see the sample first. And we just had them delivered ex like right to the event. So I hadn't previewed them at all. Ugliest piece of cheap. They opened it up and it was like, oh. you know how you see like someone with a gold tooth in the front? It's yeah. just like, oh, yeah. like, oh, no, no. These right. were, I thought they were going to be like plastic platinum and they were this gold and I thought they were going to be this this weight and they were not and they I thought they had a different clasp and cheap ugly she, paperweights I was just so embarrassed by it but she still she, has she it. carried it for years I don't know she might not carry it in there anymore is, there At is some somebody that's going to give away on her no there's somebody who uh, blew me away the other day. I can't remember who it was but uh, they came to a networking event probably six months ago and opened up their uh, their, their card case and it was one of ours yeah, that is the funniest which, which thing. Which is funny because they didn't even but know. But do you have yet. what's like the oldest thing that you have? Like of somebody's like that you still carry you've held for years. You? I'm not old. Oh, I didn't. No. I am not old. No. I wouldn't say no. You did though. But you're you older did. than than All most right. of the things you're I right. have. You're, you know what? Um, so <laughs> Eric is actually flying solo in the next rest of the what? show. But I want you to know it's you're not because quitting? he's in trouble. <laughs> he, he, he didn't get in trouble for calling me old, and I'm not walking out on him. DTC CBW is hosting a, a luncheon today. My friend Penny Brendan with the Connecting Experts is up for Businesswoman of the Year. So I'm going over there to support her. So. Great guest, great show. I just want everybody to know Eric didn't get in trouble and I didn't walk out on him. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. All right, but you will be back tomorrow, right? Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Say that in French. No. You no, know, come on. You know you can. I, I, I was going to. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. All right. Folks, stay tuned. Chris Kaiser, C-Squared Computer Consulting, coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Finding care for an aging parent or loved one can be a simple and hassle-free process with Home Care Assistance Denver by your side. They are locally owned and provide hourly as well as 24-7 live-in services by caregivers that are custom matched based on client needs. They personalize every care plan to fit your loved one's very specific needs. Call them today to schedule your free in-home assessment, 720-443-3371, 720-443-3371.
7171. More information can be found at homecareassistancedenver.com. They love serving your loved ones. Call now, 720-443-3371. Can you imagine going an entire day without your phone or computer? Crazy, right? How else would you communicate with your team, contact that client, or even get paid? Absolutely nothing happens when you don't have technology in your lap. Even a slow-running computer can stall your progress. And when your software doesn't sync, nothing seems to work out. You've got a technology partner like no other with C Squared Computer Consulting. C Squared is your business pain reliever. Solve your pain. Call C Squared at 303-933-1113. It was once said the pen was mightier than the sword. We are living in a time now that is demanding the Republic to speak up. Our elected officials need to hear from you. Commit now to send at least one of your representatives the pen. The pen is a bi-monthly publication with news, opinions, and insights for only $24.95. Order yours and order theirs from CSC Talk Radio, P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018, or online at csctalkradio.com. Get your hands on the pen and share constitutional truth with your elected officials. Congratulations to all the participants in the fan bragging contest. Over 2,000 positive reviews came in. We were anticipating great excitement and increased visibility for each business, but we didn't anticipate the emotion that came with it. There's no way to quantify the encouragement that your fan brags gave. Being an entrepreneur takes everything you've got, and to get the feedback from your own customers has proven to be priceless. Everyone here on the Experience Pros team salutes you today. Be proud. Be visible. Check out the members of the Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com. And thank you for supporting the companies that support us. Hi, this is Eric, and I want to talk to you about my friends over at McDonald Volvo. This family-owned business has been delivering extreme customer service for almost 50 years right here in our neighborhood. With upfront worry-free pricing and super personalized service, your best car buying experience is at McDonald Volvo. General Manager Will Routon is a great friend, and he wants to meet you personally. Call him at 303-738-4803. That's 303-738-4803, and tell him the pros sent you. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303 669 9701 and tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. Advertising is really effective, especially for small business. Turn your company into a household name by advertising on the Experience Pros radio show. We'll help you build a trusted reputation with the professionals who listen to the program. You'll connect with the right audience and at the right price. Advertise with the Experience Pros radio show. Sign up at experiencepros.com and put your brand on the tip of your customer's tongue. Sign up today and start advertising with the Experience Pros at experiencepros.com. Dana Lash, tonight at 8 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Ain't nothing weird about our next guest, a legacy sponsor here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. You know him, you love him. It's Chris Geyser with C-Square Computer Consulting. Chris, hey, welcome. Thank you very much. And you said, not at all, man. I, I feel normal around you. You you are normal around <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Abby. Yeah, right? Abby normal, yes. Indeed, indeed. Hey, uh, C-Square Computer Consulting, uh, how long have you guys been in business? Uh, over 12 years now. 12 So we're years. just about to be a teenager. You guys are killing it. <laughs> you, 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 I remember a couple of years ago, you, you bought another company and just kind of absorbed their business and uh, you just keep growing. It's like Pac-Man. Right. Yeah. right? There's a lot of little dots out there. Absolutely. We're trying to keep them connected. Too. Absolutely. Hey, let's talk a little bit about Windows 10. So that's, yeah, a big deal coming out. And I think what I find most interesting about it is how that changes what do people do right now? You right. Know, questions about, okay, well, well, what do I do? Do I do Windows 8? Do I do Windows 7? What's the effect of Windows 10 going to have? So so there's not a lot of people saying, uh, we're at Windows 8, come on over. Uh, 
Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, said, I mean, that's, I don't want to be diplomatic here. Uh, so, so what is your advice? Uh, what, what does it mean for users of Windows 7, and should we just jump to Windows 10? Well, n no, not necessarily. I okay. mean, I think Windows. I think the key thing I wanted to bring up is that you know that doesn't mean Windows 7 is going away. Hmm. You know, um, currently right now the the extended support date is through 2020. Okay. So I mean, Windows 7 still has a life. Sure. And it, you know, the life cycle for Windows 7 is still very stable and, and active. They're going to still be sending out patches and support. Be patching and, it. Okay. I, I think more importantly, you know, talking about uh, on the heels of Windows XP end of life, um, you know, just being recently, you know, kind of announced. Wait a minute, what? End, end of life. End of life? That sounds terminal. It does sound terminal. Uh, <laughs> of course, if you're still using Windows XP, uh, or that what is that server two thousand three? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so those are big. Those are big deals, and I think, um, you know, I get asked a lot. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. So end of life. So it doesn't mean that it's going to stop working. It's not like you turn on your computer and it's just got a big. <clears throat> yeah, it's expired. Okay. Um, I, I had an analogy of medicine, but it, maybe that's not a good analogy. No, because we still use that. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so so end of life means that, that uh, they're just no longer going to be patching and supporting and and, and doing that. Kind Very of good. Right? Yeah. They continue to use XP. The longer, the, the bigger of a vulnerability it becomes. Yeah, Chris, I, I have to admit, uh, there are many times in the course of my, I'm, I'm much better today than I used to be, but over the course of my uh, career and, and with computer patches, and you know I use a, a Mac, but even still, there are updates There's that updates come to, to, to those things. And I don't always update um, when the update comes. In fact, sometimes I don't update at all. And and that's not good, it's, is it? it? Staying updated is so important but it's so easy to put things off right well and another thing is is this a legitimate update right you know uh you know when microsoft doesn't contact you to say you know if you get a phone call from microsoft hang up <laughs> right <laughs> it's not yeah we, we need your up uh, we need your credit card and the little security code on the back because we're going to update your computer no exactly we're, don't we're do that. here to help right uh, no that doesn't happen so but there's questions, is this legitimate, you know? And so on a, you know, Windows system, you know, in, in Apple and Mac, if you go to the help search for updates or, you know, Windows, Windows updates, that's the best option. But to stay updated is, is very important. Um, getting behind, there's such a huge price, you know, by not making that, that choice. And, and people say, well, I don't want to invest in new hardware right you know, server 2003 is another big one that's that's end of life you know coming up in july no support you know no patches huge vulnerability so lots these, of issues these are for those companies that have the server that uh, sits in the room that uh, you usually have an it folks like uh, c squared it uh who come in and take care of those kinds of things your your server uh needs an update yes you know and people will say well you know it's working Yes, you know, and and old software, legacy, you know, business, you know, line of business applications, and well, this software runs on it. I don't want to spend the money to. One of the first things I will ever remember uh, about the first pieces of advice you gave us to us six years ago oh uh, on the radio show was, uh, you, you know, don't you'd rather deal with a managed service than a break fix. You know, and so many IT companies, uh, such as yours, deal with those those yes. break fix emergencies. Mm -hmm. You, but they're avoidable. Many times, a lot of things can be prevented, or even if it's something not preventable, the damage could have been mitigated. You know, be, there's so many things you can do to reduce the downtime. The you know emergency situation i got another question for you i'm going to talk about the cloud here in a second but please give contact information to our listeners because folks uh, c square computer consulting they can take care of it all they're going to take your network to the next level but you need to know where to call please so our phone number is 303-933-1113 uh and you can find us at c2cc.net or uh Post something on our Facebook page. Absolutely. And if that went too fast, uh, give us a call here at the station. We'll be happy to take care of you. Uh, and, and that number is 303-477-5600. Uh, Charlie will help you get connected to the the, the right people. All right. Um, 
cloud computing is all the rage and uh and, and now it's an essential element of keeping up with technology are you, am i right there's so many uh, opportunities I'll, I'll say sure it, it's not a fit for everybody it's not a fit for everything are there options there are lots of lots of solutions i joke that cloud is a nebulous term <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't get very far with that. Joke, right, but, but um, bump. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of options. It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But you know, essentially, looking at you know, we get asked, you know, do I really need a server? And, and sometimes the answer is yes. There's reasons. Sure. There's a situation or a, an application, a line of business, or a reason to have it. But. Also, there's a lot of other things. Well, what are you doing? How are you sharing information? There are solutions that are cost-effective, cloud. The nice thing about cloud typically is that it's flexible. Right. You know, it's something you can ramp up, you can ramp down. And just for the, the, the neophytes that may be uh, listening today, cloud, cloud computing, uh, cloud server, uh, virtual servers and whatnot, um, they're, they're not really in the sky, folks. Uh, I have to look up. No, no, no. There's there, there's a, a place that does it all for you, and it's all done through the net these days. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that place is typically very secure and redundant uh, yes. elements of, of backups. And think of it, you know, if you have, uh, you know, outsourcing any sort of a thing, a job, even a woodworking, you know, a woodworker has lots of tools. Right. So there's things, the technology out there that these companies have that small businesses don't have. Right. And rather than trying to buy it to own it, it's kind of leasing those tools and technologies. Virtualization. So, you know, you've got redundancy and backup and security. Things that are just out of reach of a small business to own themselves. You bet. But are very accessible through the cloud. Speaking of backups, uh, you know the second of every month is sponsored by C Square Computer Consulting. You need to back it up. It's so easy to do, but if you find it complicated and confusing, just call C Square Computer Consulting. They'll take care of everything for you, and you're going to thank us for it. What's that number again? 303 933 1113. And you can find them at C Squared IT on Facebook or C2CC.net on the web. Chris Kaiser, can I just say on behalf of Angel, myself, and all the people who listen to this show every single day because of you, thank you. I uh, will thank you. It's it's going to be an honor to be in an Angel's seat. You know, yeah, you, tell you want to stick around? You, I, you can. I, I don't know if I can fill it the way she does, but uh, you certainly cannot. <laughs> you, you, you overfill. <laughs> that, that seat. Well played. Uh, but it's all good. Folks, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk, business tips, and insights coming up next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. The business professionals at Extreme Relationship Management know that networking is one of the best ways to create word of mouth marketing for your business. They also know that many of you feel like it's a complete waste of time. The difference is knowing how to network and what to do with all those business cards that you collect. Tune in every Thursday to learn about the ERM networking laws and be sure to sign up for the next ERM class. Extreme Relationship Management offers training and events to help you realize how rewarding networking can be. Train the ERM way. Find them online at extremerelationshipmanagement.com and call 855-I-LIKE-ERM to find out more about their next class. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-204-32. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.State.com. CO.US. Let's face it, most phone systems are old and outdated or so complicated that it takes a PhD just to change your voicemail. Introducing Edgetronics, your answer to all all your business telephone needs. Edgetronics is authorized and certified by Avea, and they'll not only replace your old phones with new solutions, they'll even train your staff on how to get the most out of them, proudly serving up and down the front range for over 10 years. Edgetronics wants to be your next phone system provider. Call them today at 303-766-1699. That's 303-766-1699. Or online at edgetronics, that's with an X, dot com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. 
It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Gentlemen, it's time to step it up a notch. I'm talking about your clothing. Sure, we're all super casual here in Colorado, but there's something to be said for dressing to match your market. You need personal stylist Michelle Martinez. Michelle will come to where you are, custom measure you for an unmatched fit, and help you find your next outfit, all without breaking the bank. Luxury starts with premium materials, and Michelle's got the best Italian fabrics. And talk about value, your clothes delivered straight to you, saving you tons. Call Michelle today, 720-261-4914. That's 720 720- 2-0-2-6-1-4-9-1-4. If you have a rental property and have been managing it all on your own, let Legacy Properties PM help you build your legacy. They handle everything from emergency calls 24 hours a day, market rent analysis, and fiscally responsible home improvement suggestions. They don't mark up contractor work, and they provide quarterly interior property condition reports. Get your first month's management fee for free at LegacyProperties-PM.com slash radio. That's LegacyProperties-PM.com slash radio. You're going to love this service. For questions, call 720-989-1996. They'll help you sleep well and build your legacy. The Dana Show with Dana Lash, tonight at 8 on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the experienced pros radio show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Angel has stepped out of the studio to go support one of our members, and uh, we're very thankful for that and the ability to do that. But sitting in with me is a Jack Loudon, and we'll get to him in just a moment. This business tip and insight brought to you by Cheryl Braunschweiger of ALMC Mortgage. All loans must close, and they do. You need to know, Cheryl Braunschweiger, if you're looking to mortgage or refinance your mortgage. Boy, there's no better time to do that. You need to know uh, Cheryl Braunschweiger, an award-winning over and over and over the star, star award from the Better Business Bureau, the member of the Tom Martino's Troubleshooter Network, of course, valued member of the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Her phone number, quick and easy to remember, 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. And she has a very valuable asset called CherylAnswers.com. It's her blog where she answers questions that you or somebody you know may be asking about uh, the purchase of a new home. Sarah writes in on CherylAnswers.com and says, should I buy a fixer-upper if I can't afford the house of my dreams? Cheryl, of course, writes back and says, maybe. There's a lot to consider if you're thinking of doing this. First of all, your purchase price is going to be lower. But if you need to factor, but you do need to factor in the cost of fixing up your new home. Unless the changes you're considering are minor, don't guess at those fix up costs. Have a contractor or other knowledgeable person give you an estimate of what needs to be done and how much it'll cost before you make an offer to buy. Before you make the offer to buy. Remember, you got to factor that into your uh, cost of mortgage. Can you do the work yourself or will you have to hire someone else to do the work? That will also affect the cost of the repairs and improvements. And can I just make a recommendation? Don't do that by yourself. Unless you are truly Johnny Hardware, don't do that by yourself. Cheryl says, goes on to say, can you live in the house while the work is being done? If not, you're going to need to factor in the cost of living somewhere else and paying the mortgage on your new fixer-upper, FHA loans, called 203, getting you to talk uh, to make sure that they know 
what the best solution is for you. And you need to call Cheryl at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. CherylAnswers.com, where you can find this and all the blogs and the answer, questions and answers that Cheryl does answer in her blog. Or just go to almcmortgage.com, ALMC Mortgage at Nova Home Loans. They can support you in your mortgage, refinance, all your real estate questions uh, necessary. They have answers when you have questions. CherylAnswers.com, all those must close, and they do. Now we switch our, our attention over to our good friend Jack Loudon of Riviera Finance. Riviera Finance, if you don't know Riviera Finance, <laughs> you don't know Jack. Welcome, my friend. Hey, Eric. How you doing? Flying solo again. I know, right? She uh, just up and leaves you. Oh, you know that's okay though. Uh, we, we've got an environment where it's it's all right for Angel to go out and, and do what she does, and uh, in this case, our friend Penny Brendan is uh, up for Business Woman of the Year. I heard. So uh, very very excited for that. Congratulations so what, to Penny. Indeed. What's what's going on in the world of uh, Riviera Finance? Well, you know. Um, I wanted to speak a little bit this morning about something we haven't talked about. Oh, I um, like that. About how a business owner, you know, in manufacturing or some type of company that has to buy their product to do their service. Type so, of some assembly required. Some assembly required. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, sure. And uh, a lot of times, a small business owner, it won't. It'll be difficult for them because they have to put the money out front to buy the raw materials okay. through their supplier. This is, let me paint a picture. Uh, somebody wants to uh, purchase a, a dozen uh, cuckoo clocks, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And, or a hundred cuckoo clocks or a thousand cuckoo clocks. And all I need to do is get those little uh, arms and the birds, uh, but, but I don't have the money Correct. to go get the arms and the birds, the arms for the clock and the birds that come out and say cuckoo. That, that very good. Okay. So um, a lot of times that business owner will have to put the money out because they can't get terms from their supplier. Right. Well, we can put together a program that says we will send a letter to their supplier guarantee and payment <gasps> that they've entered, entered an agreement with us. We're going to uh, factor their invoices. And as soon as that job is completed and we fund the, the business owner, we will then redirect some of those funds directly to the supplier. We will send a, a letter of guarantee to their supplier saying, look, upfront these people, give them basically give your, give your vendor terms right. um, on the supplies that they need. We guarantee, as a finance company, we guarantee that they will be paid. Oh my goodness, that, that's a game changer, because uh, you're you're not just helping the the business, uh, you know, the cuckoo clock maker, you're also helping the cuckoo clock purchaser. Correct. Because the purchaser needs a thousand cuckoo clocks, and the maker can't do it because they don't have terms with the 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 bird maker. Right, with the supplier, and it'll what it. The real game changer comes into play is um, that business owner, that company, yeah. who cannot bid on larger jobs right. because they don't have the working capital They're to new. buy the They're, raw materials. Sure. This will give them the opportunity to really grow their business in a hurry by being able to bid on jobs that they wouldn't normally be able to have the, the, uh, the access to do. And they can do all this without going into debt? And they do it all without going into debt because where we are lending them the money yeah. uh, based on their completed project, their completed job, right. we're, uh, we know we're going to get paid back from their clients. So uh, we advance them the money, we pay off the supplier, and uh, they now have continued working capital and they have not gone into debt because they're, strict, they're simply getting paid quicker than they normally would have if they had to wait the 30 days, 60 days to get paid. Riviera Finance just became your business partner. Exactly. I, I love that. I love that. And and by guaranteeing that there's, there's and of course, uh, anybody that you would talk to the suppliers uh, and you say, we're going to guarantee your payment on that in, in a, a quick turnaround, uh, they're going to go, well, let me check out Riviera Finance. And when they do, they'll realize that millions of dollars pass through Riviera Finance. Right. We, we purchased a billion dollars of invoices last year. A with a B. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, so, so uh, you're good for the money. That means the, the, the customer is going to be good for the money. It means the supplier is going to be good for the money. Everybody right. gets paid. And 
And because we run the credit check on the right. who's the one that's going to purchasing pay. the thousand cuckoo clocks. Correct. Yeah. We know we're going to get paid. The supplier knows they're going to get paid, and it's just it's a it's a way for a company to now get terms from their supplier. In the last second or two that I got with you, I just want to make, uh, clarify. If you're already accepting terms by way of credit card, if you're receiving credit card payments, then you're well within the, the, the realm of uh, uh, what it costs to do business with Riviera Finance. Yeah. I mean, simply if, if you were to call your customer, uh, you're waiting to get paid, you're waiting to get paid, you're waiting to get paid, right. and yourself this, would you be willing to pick up the phone and say, hey, Check today or right. cut me a check tomorrow. I'll take two to five percent off your invoice. Would you do that in a heartbeat? But that's all we do. Come on, Riviera Finance. How do people contact you? 303 409 7706. Give that again 303 409 7706. You can find him by email at jloudon, J L O U D E N at rivierafinance.com. He's local here in the tech center. And, uh, and and Jack, you'll explain it all in greater detail, obviously Absolutely. off the air. Uh, but but wow, what a great service you guys offer. I'm so grateful for you. And thank you for, for coming in today. Oh, thank you for uh, putting up with me. And, and oh, uh, we appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, it's not a put up at all. We, we love uh, Riviera Finance. If you don't know Riviera Finance, you don't know Jack. Thanks, Eric. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufactured products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. When you work from home, you run the risk of setting up a makeshift workspace in the corner or somewhere off to the side of your bedroom. It's not really a home office. It just happens to be your office at home. Let Hellene's Designs help you create a productive workspace that transforms you from hobbyist into an innovative CEO ready to be featured in a magazine spread. Take charge of your home office and call Helene's Designs. You're the CEO. Make sure your home office looks like it. 720-233-7302. 720-233-7302. Let's face it, you're stuck. Sure, your business is stable, but you've been floundering it even for too long. It's time to call Stephanie Scheller. Stephanie is a systems, business, and marketing coach who's helped over 300 companies improve their results by setting up systems and holding them accountable to trackable growth. Sometimes all you need is a fresh perspective and a little bit of accountability to break through to the next level of your success story. Call Stephanie today, 210-426-6956, and just talk to her, 210-426-6956. She can help. It's your business. Call today. Nylon's Collision Center is an award-winning body shop that takes great care of you and your car. This matters when your insurance company wants to take shortcuts. Nylon's Collision Center only uses manufactured parts. This matters when a cheap, ill-fitting part is available. At Nylons, it matters. If it's not perfect, it's not leaving. 303-761-9219. 303-761-9219. Every day, hundreds if not thousands of people are searching online for what your business has to offer. SharpNet Solutions can help you get found, just like they did for Vera at Love Bug Matchmaking. SharpNet has really helped our business expand to 60 miles around our business. Being able to be seen online and being able to be seen through searches has made an enormous difference. SharpNetSolutions.com or 303-900-4988. Army Specialist Lance Gieselman was paralyzed when his tank was blown up in Iraq. Paralyzed Veterans of America is dedicated to ensuring our injured veterans get all the benefits they've earned and need. If you would like to help our veterans, visit PVA.org. 
a public service of Paralyzed Veterans of America. Wake up with Randy Corcoran, 5 to 8 tomorrow morning on KLZ 560. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Hey, welcome back to the experienced pros radio show. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. You know, I consider myself one of the most blessed people in the world. I surround myself with amazing people, and I get to talk to them on the radio every single day. And today is no different. We have two guests in the studio uh, today, Phyllis Shimamoto and Susan Elizabeth Lee, who are joining us with something that's going to touch your heart. Suck it to them is the name of their uh, nonprofit organization. And uh, you, you gotta, you got to find out what this is all about. Providing socks for the homeless. Susan, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Very nice to have you. And Phyllis, of course, a member of the Extreme Customer Service Directory. And welcome to the studio as well. Thank you, Eric. I'm so happy to be here with Sue today. Absolutely. So let, let's talk about this. Susan, I'll start with you. Uh, sock it to them. Yes. <laughs> what, what, what inspired you to uh, to take on this uh, th this nonprofit organization? This is one of my favorite questions. Yeah. I was shopping in 2011 for Thanksgiving dinner. I was at King Supers. Okay. And I'm walking along thinking about Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And all of a sudden, in my head comes sock a tomb, sock campaign, socks for the homeless. And I literally am thinking, really, God? Really? This is what you want me to be doing? And I went home, called my girlfriends, Phyllis being one of them, and I said, I want us to gather socks for the homeless between Thanksgiving and the end of December to yeah. see how many we'd obtain. And that year we did 575 pairs. 575 pairs just by picking up the phone, being responsive to what the Lord put in your heart, and, and, and it's just saying to your girlfriends, hey, need a little help here. That's it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, is there... So then, is there a problem okay, yeah. with socks? I mean, oh. do, do the homeless not have socks, Phyllis? Absolutely. The, the homeless need socks. It's the number one need for the homeless, as we found out as we started on this journey. Okay. All right. Um, give us some, some demo, demographics, Sue, if you will, please. Sure. Uh, Absolutely. What, what, what kind of problem are we facing? Well, the first thing is that the definition of homeless are those people that live in places not meant for human habitation. Under a bridge. Under a bridge. In a cardboard on a box. Sidewalk, cardboard box. Park bench. Uh -huh. And in January of 2014, on one given night, there was approximately 12,000 homeless in Denver. And that's not counting children. In, in, in Denver? Children. In Denver. We have 2.5 million homeless in the United States. Children, excuse me. Children. Oh. People don't think about the children. And approximately 9 to 13% are veterans. About 30% are children. And those are the people, you know, we, we see the men on the streets, yeah. but we don't think about Behind the every women man. Yeah. and the children. That's right. And so when we gather socks, we're gathering socks for men, women, and children. Oh, you know, it makes such a difference. Uh, Phyllis, right now, I think we need to give out some contact information for this uh, this project so that we can get involved. Uh, do, you, do you have some contact information, maybe a phone number or website that we can uh, donate to? Yes, our website is sockettoemsockcampaign.org, and that's S-O-C-K-I-T-E-M. E yeah, socket to M E M sockcampaign.org all right socket to it sock socket to them sock campaign dot org uh and, and uh, now if there's other ways are there other ways sue that we can uh, participate and, and, and help oh we, we what we really like to have is people become what we call sock ambassadors what is a sock ambassador uh, so a sock ambassador is anyone who's willing to ask family friends uh, associates people in their office yeah. to gather socks our big campaign is thanksgiving to the end of december so anyone who's listening if they'd like to get involved they would become a sock ambassador we provide them with a flyer to send out to people but they just you have a box in your office 
or you gather in your neighborhood and you gather from Thanksgiving to the end of December and then we reconnect with you and then we gather those socks and we distribute them then to services and shelters. We're looking for new socks, right? New, uh, new socks. New, clean new so, don't, clean socks. Don't you go socks. taking off those dirty nasties and, and uh, sending them <laughs> in, folks. That's, that's not what we're looking for at all. All right, so uh, becoming a sock ambassador, uh, you, you can get a box and, and, and put it in your, your place of work. If you've got people coming and going on a daily basis, I'm talking about all your retail stores, brick and mortar. If you, even a restaurant could do this because yes. this is, this is uh, clearly a place where it's not going to be any violation of health code. You just put it out by the, the reception area. Yes, absolutely. We had um, in the Denver metropolitan area alone, yeah. we had 31 sock ambassadors this year. And so in 2011, when we did 575 pairs of socks, yeah. jump ahead to 2014. Right. And up to date since Thanksgiving of 2014, right. we gathered over 14,000 pairs of socks. 14,000, you are making a difference. And you know what? I want to help make a difference today. Uh, for all of our listeners out here, and you know who you are, if you've got a brick and mortar at all, or you know somebody who does, why not get on, on, on board with this? Sock it to them. Sockcampaign.org is the uh, the website where you can find more information. But become one of those sock ambassadors. You had thirty one last year. Thirty one, and so we and so hundreds are gathered through them in right. the offices. And like right. you said, like a restaurant. So um, Miles Cafe down in Castle Rock. Come on, <laughs> Miles Cafe. We love Miles Cafe. <laughs> yeah. that's a restaurant down there. Mm -hmm. You tell them I want to do a food review, a chew on this food review for them, uh, just because they did a socket to them uh, deal. We'll, we'll get them on the air. Uh, not only that, I'd like our listeners to step up, our members of the Extreme Customer Service Directory to step up on this. We're not doing 31 this year. We're doing 62 at least, you know? So you know what? Forget that. We're going triple digits. Over 100 different Socket to them locations. You can be a Sock Ambassador, but you got to go to socket to them, sockcampaign.org and connect with Sue or Phyllis and, and get going on. What, what, and now I just made your future goal. Oh, right. Thank you. And I'm saying 100 yeah. ambassadors by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. I, we also would really like to point out that we, um, Mayor Hancock declared the second Wednesday in December as Socket to Him Work Workday. Really? And the Mayor's Caucus got behind it, and 41 mayors in the surrounding cities of Denver got behind that, and it's going to be again this year. So the second Wednesday of December, people are asked to go to work all day, not wearing socks, in honor of what the homeless have to go through right. to experience that. Right. And if it's bad weather, you start to feel really uncomfortable. Are sure. those shoes, you yeah. know, without the socks? And nope. and then to pledge that they will give socks before the end of December to the Sockatum Sock Campaign. I'm in. I'm in. And, uh, you know, no matter which way you vote, uh, the, the fact of the matter is there's something that's actually helping somebody. It's making a difference. And, and I love that. Uh, Susan Elizabeth Lee, Phyllis Shimamoto, thank you both so very much for coming and bringing this to our attention. And uh, go big or go home, folks. You wear socks every day. Don't take it for granted. Become a sock ambassador and, uh, and, and become not, not 31, folks. We're, we're, we're doubling down, okay? We're going for 100 by the end of this year. Okay, Great. sock it to them, sock, um, uh, sock campaign dot org. Dot org. Phyllis, Sue, thank you so very much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. You betcha. If we, if we can do anything with this microphone and it makes a difference for somebody, one person, it's worth it, right? Sock it to them, sockambassador.org. We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Being a homeowner, business owner, or a consumer has never been easier thanks to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. You can count on the Experience Pros Network to deliver the best in customer service and collaboration. Check out the Extreme Customer Service Directory for all your referrals. And if you don't see your favorites on the list, let us know. We'll check them out. And if their customers are saying they could be a great fit for the Extreme Customer Service Directory, online at experiencepros.com slash directory. Women-owned businesses are on the rise, but where do you go when the bank says no? Ladies, you know it's tough to secure the capital necessary to launch or develop a new business. You need to know attorney Steve Replin of the Replin Law Group. 
Steve specializes in helping women secure hard money lending when no one else will step up. You have an ally in Steve Replin. He has the knowledge and resources to get you the money you need to grow your business. Call Steve today. It's Money in the Bank, your bank. 303-322-7919 or replinlawgroup.com. Ugh. Computers, we can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in, all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at binkleyit.com. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place for finding the companies who have the best customer testimonials. Plus, to make it even easier, we narrow down the field to only three companies in your area. If you need a printer in the metro area, we have it. If you need ink and toner, we have it. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is one of the most visited directories in the state, and it's all yours to view for free at experiencepros.com. Experiencepros.com for the best in customer service. When you're looking for the best, think Experience Pros. You can feel good about doing business with the pros. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. Finance.com. As a business owner, you know what it's like to wear a bunch of hats, and we know it too, which is why our very best advice to you is to outsource your accounting to By the Numbers Bookkeeping and Accounting. Philip Aronoff is well known to listeners and members of the Experience Pros Network. He was voted the best bookkeeper in the state of Colorado during the Fan Bragging Contest, and he can absolutely help you build your business while making sure your accounting is all taken care of. Call Philip today and take that bookkeeping hat off for good. 720 8370860. That's 720-837-0860. Dana Lash, tonight at 8 on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Has this been a great show or what? Oh my gosh. This is one of those ones you want to mark in your, uh, your, your daytime or whatnot to go back and listen to the archives again and again. Not only are you going to get inspired, but you're going to get motivated. You're going to get uh, some great business counsel and uh, some resources that are amazing. And, you know, even with our, our last uh, interview, our last segment there, you get an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. And that's what the Experience Pros Radio Show is all about. And so thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, as we wrap up this day's show, I came across a great uh, article in Inc.com. It talks about things you need to know as a young entrepreneur. But I'm going to take the young out, and I'm just going to say things you need to know as an entrepreneur in general because I found these, universal, uh, the, these truths to be universal across the way. It was written for... Uh, entrepreneurs who are just getting started and and maybe coming out of college and, and you want to be an entrepreneur or whatnot. But boy, these are truths truly universal. So here we go. The first one is to be confident, but not too much. There is a fine line between confidence and arrogance. And I, I'm reminded of the time uh, as, as Susan Lee was just in here and she asked me about my, my background as a professional stage illusionist. And I, I gone grown kind of fond of using the phrase I'm the most, most famous person you never heard of uh, 22 years five world tours and uh, yes I floated women in the air and cut them in six pieces for a living and you, you know confidence is something when you walk onto that stage you know that for the next hour and a half <clears throat> excuse me or two hours 
you know, I, I, I'm here to entertain you and it's going to be a great show. Okay. Whereas arrogance comes out there and says, I know something you don't know. And one of those is completely inappropriate. And, and we never want to cross over to that arrogance. But when I train and when I train my staff, I talk about having the confidence and the swagger that goes along, not arrogance, not cockiness, but the swagger that says, you know what? I anticipated this moment before you ever met me. I anticipated what, what we can do here and, and whatnot. Doesn't mean we know everything, but that means that, that I've, I've taken some time to put some energy and some effort into it and I've thought about it. It truly is a balancing act between confident and optimistic and being overconfident, which comes off as pure arrogance. So number one, be confident, but not too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number two, keep your focus. Oh my goodness. How important is this? If you are an, uh, an aspiring entrepreneur, if you're an up to your eyeballs <laughs> entrepreneur, keep your focus. What is the old phrase? Keep the main thing the main thing. And don't be sidetracked by the things that are not uh, the main thing. And in many cases, we break this down to what is what is revenue generating? Um, because as you jump into the world of entrepreneurism, truly the focus is, of course, you love to make cookies. We understand that you love to make cookies. But, but the focus is and at least should be to earn enough to take care of not just covering the not right yeah i mean you got to pay your and what whatnot but to actually earn a living and then if you graduate to that uh next level then to help other people earn their livings as well as you contribute to the community by paying taxes and all of that taxes don't have to be a bad thing remember you only pay taxes when you make money which is a good idea um so our process of becoming an entrepreneur just do it now, I didn't mean to steal that from Nike, but the reality is you just really need to do it. No analysis paralysis. You're going to make mistakes. But you know what? You're going to learn by making those mistakes. According to Mark Suster, he's a writer and startup veteran. He says, entrepreneurs make fast decisions and moving forward uh, and move forward knowing that at best, about 70% of their decisions are going to be right. Go for it and adjust along the way. And by the way, asterisk, adjust quickly. <laughs> you know, the, the best people learn from their mistakes and the best entrepreneurs are no different. Learn from your mistakes. Angel and I have made so many mistakes along the way. And, and, and you know, every day we are in a constant state of assessment and readjustment. But that's what makes our business viable. And you probably understand uh, that as well. Here's another tip that is huge when you get to that point where you're going to bring on some some additional uh employees or whatnot hire well fire quickly oh this is this is hard because when you're an entrepreneur when you're in a startup business and you hire somebody chances are the person you hire is somebody that you've known and liked prior and you know it's it's very rare the people hire outside of their, what we call the Frank circle, friends, relatives, associates, networks, and customers. And when you hire a friend, net, neighbor, networks, you know, fr friend, associate, uh, uh, network, uh, the Frank circle, friends, associates, F-R-A, associate, friends, neighbors, associates, networks, and customers, uh, relatives, sorry, I can't even spell. When you do that, Chances are it's very complicated to fire them. But when asked this question, when is the best time to sever a poor working relationship with the hope of salvaging a good personal relationship? Sooner is always better than later. All right, uh, number five, delegate. Delegate, delegate, delegate. Uh, by the way, you can't do that alone. Uh, it's tough to to you can't do the job alone when an entrepreneur starts and they've got all those those hats that they're wearing my friends you're simply not doing any of them the justice that they are deserving so uh outsource and delegate your uh stuff and forget about micromanaging don't you dare think about micromanaging the things you delegate out if you delegate it out all you're really concerned about is is the job getting done don't micromanage the way the job gets done. If the job gets done, 
and nobody, no harm, no foul, it might not be your way, but that's okay. Number six, network, network, network. You've heard it a thousand times. Join groups, volunteer, use social media, ask everyone you know for referrals. Never turn down a meeting no matter how long you've been in business. This never goes away, not ever. You want to know the different Steve Jobs, uh, when he was alive, that guy networked like crazy all the time. Uh, it's just at a different level. But the, the deals that were being made in the backside are still part of that networking. And finally, dress the part. You may feel most comfortable in your jeans and T-shirt, uh, but if you're not Steve Jobs or Mike, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, don't assume that your clients, real or potential, will understand if you come to the network meeting in shorts and flip-flops. Okay, Dress for the job. Dress for the part you want to play. If you, Oh, by the way, if you sell surfboards, cool. Go that way. But if you sell high-end surfboards, you know the kinds with fins, uh, put on some pants. There you go. That's uh, the, the great article that I found in Inc. by Rhett Power, uh, Inc.com. Seven things you need to know as a young entrepreneur. Forget young. Things you need to know as an entrepreneur. Day is over, just like that, at least my day. Or maybe it's just getting started. On behalf of Charlie, our producer, Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros Radio Show happen every single day, we thank you for tuning in and participating in this, the revolution in how people treat people in business. We'll see you tomorrow. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries, Angel Tusty and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution.